Hi everybody, welcome back. My message today, if you like it, can you give me a like? If you agree with what I have to say, can you share this video just to get it out? Because what happened yesterday in Congress was appalling. It was appalling. This message is for we the people. We the people that weren't there yesterday. We the people that are Republicans that don't, don't agree don't agree and don't want to be lumped into what happened yesterday because I'm a Republican and I, I don't agree with what happened yesterday and I don't want to be lumped in to what happened to the Congress building to the mob of the rush of the building I, I don't want to be lumped into that and if you're a Republican you don't want to be lumped into that too share the video because I'm appalled. I'm appalled. I'm embarrassed. Think about this. You know, my great grandkids are going to be sitting in school, school one day, and they're going to open up their history book to see what happened yesterday, to see how people behaved, to see how people acted. I don't, I don't find it funny. I find nothing funny about having your picture taken at Nancy Pelosi's desk. I find nothing funny about taking the podium and walking around with it. There's nothing funny about it. And for the people that were in those pictures smiling and waving, no, no, that's not the right way to behave. We don't behave like that. A woman was killed yesterday. She was killed yesterday for supporting Trump, breaking into the Congress, you think that's the right thing to do? Because that, all that did, you scared all the Congress members. I mean, the police, I, I don't even, I don't even want to go there because the, the Capitol Police, the things that I, I, you, didn't you know? Didn't you know? I mean, there were messages the prior week before something was going to happen. Something was going to, there were going to be a lot of people there. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm disgraced. I'm, I'm just disgraced. And I don't want to be lumped in with that. I don't want to be lumped in with that. Right now, Trump is banned from YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all the social media accounts. And in my, my opinion, I think that might be a good idea as a Republican. I think that might be a good idea because I don't know what he's going to say. I don't know what he's going to do. You know, we have an inauguration coming up and I hope and pray that nothing else happens. This needs to be peaceful. Whether you agree with it or not, it needs to be a peaceful move. The presidential exchange, it needs to be peaceful, period period. You don't have to agree with it and that's okay. What it says in the Bible here, I don't know if many people know. I don't know if some people may not know what it says, what God says about this. Because God talks about this in the Bible about government. Let me read this to you. It's Romans chapter 13 verse 1. And I'm, I'm reading out of my my NIV student Bible. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, he who rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. How should you handle this next transition of presidency? Pray for him. I know there's scoffers out there that will probably say, pray to God, yeah, sure. No, really. Pray for our next president. Pray for him. Pray for Trump for these next two weeks because he needs our prayer right now more than anything. He needs it now. For whatever's going to happen to him now, he needs our prayer too. So if you... Pray for the new president, the upcoming president. God will handle it. God will handle it. He'll do what he needs to do. We don't need to rush Congress. We don't need to be violent. Nobody needs to be violent. If you have something to say, do it peacefully. So pray for your president. 
God has him there for a reason. I don't know what that reason is. You don't know what that reason is. But we're going to find out over the next couple years what that reason is and pray for him. In four years, we have the opportunity to elect somebody else. You may not like who's sitting in the presidential seat for the next four years. God has him there for a reason. Pray for the president. Just pray for him. Both of them at this point. Pray for them. Both. All right. Share this video if you liked it. Because I don't want to be lumped in with the Republicans that supported Trump, that rushed the Congress. Because that's not me. I didn't, I didn't ask them to do that. I didn't want them to do that. I think that was a terrible, terrible move. All right, I will see you in my next video. Bye.